Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. This is a tricky card, man. I like it, but it's a tricky card. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 490, Nasdaq up 106, S&P's up 52, gold contract down a buck 20, trade at 1655 an ounce. Got silver. Uh, up 16 cents, nineteen dollars twenty-three cents an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, eighty-four dollars sixty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note down two ticks, trading one hundred nine twenty-three. The thirty-year off twenty-five at one eighteen eleven. And king dollar, king dollar uh, trading down uh, twenty ticks, one eleven nine nine one. The euro is at ninety-eight. The yen is at, out here at a price point of 148.87. The British pound is at 112 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you're not going to get an ABC, but you have a market that wants higher price. So we take a look at this. You, you had nice volume on Friday, man. Volume came in, pushing it to the swing. You get the SPY trading 379, 39. It looks like it's going to basically take the top of this range out. You get the top of the range out. That's telling me that the next stop would be 390. And right now you're at 379. Um, you know, and we'll see what kind of flack it gets up at 390, but that's where I expect you're going to see it. The NDX 100 now is going to get interesting because the NDX very well could get the volume. Depends on how volatile we get coming into the close. So that's only 51 million. It needs 70 million, man. Well, it needs 69.7. We'll see. Let's take it. Say it's got the B point out right now. So we'll see whether it goes. It almost had an ABC structure up intraday, which was a monster one, by the way. Oh, Alex, you see, volume's coming in right now. Let me see. What do we got here? You get nine minutes on this one. Yeah, they're running them now, man. Uh, you got 1.3 million. We needed 1.2 coming over. That's it's not bad. That's saying you can. Let me just add this up here. That's 78, 72, six bucks. That gives you 281. Now this is an intraday one, but that was so cool about this. I love these when they do intraday ones. Yeah, look at 283 is the next swing. This thing's going to. I suspect the Qs will probably run to this 292. And then let's go into the good old dollar because the dollar's running the show out here. Now, what's really intriguing, of course, is that the dollar is just flat, and yet this market has taken off. And I suspect it has to do with people speculating that this thing's going to break down because you can see what the dollar did today, the dollar got under its trend line, meaning that the channel line that starts at 105, 196. Um, you know, you need a, my take is you need a break with conviction. A break with conviction is you're going to get wide price spread. I suspect we're going to get it, though. That's, that's what's going on. And if we go over to the yen, this will get interesting because what you had out here, and I was talking about this Friday, both interventions, they looked exactly the same, meaning chart wise okay the first intervention took place on the 22nd of september we went from 145 to 140.36 bang the next day it goes back up to 143 and then took off again this one here went from 151 to 146 and guess what man <laughs> they're gonna have, they better come in quick because the market is stronger and bigger than everyone folks and that's you know i don't think there's not many of us that were around when soros broke him and his partner broke the bank of england uh but the bottom line is that central banks can break when they're forced into buying or supporting the currency and there was a couple questions about the aspect of when you're supporting the currency how does it actually work what happens folks is this this is where the reserves are so important that you have and what it is is that so the 
the Central Bank of China, Bank of Ch the Bank of China, I mean Bank of Japan, has a lot of reserves, okay? But they don't have unlimited reserves. So when they're going in to support it, they're losing money hand over fist, man. They're going to buy, 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 and they don't want to be buying their own currency because it's fiat. Why would they going to buy their own currency? But they have to buy their own currency because it's taken off, you know? So bottom line, we'll see whether they, they can handle it. Let's go over to the natural gas market because there's a whole trip. We keep getting a lot of calls on natural gas. And... The one thing that you got to understand about natural gas, folks, is that the bottom line, you have to be able to move it around. Well, guess what? They're pumping so much oil out of Texas, again, okay, that natural gas is free this morning in Texas. Free. Yeah. It's just about to go negative. So the real question is, and what it is, is that, you know, I wouldn't be trading natural gas right now. That's the bottom line. <laughs> because what you have is that the, the pipelines, okay, so picture what happens here, is that first you have the aspect of, and, and in the United States, you know, gas is still going for, let's see, energy, I think it's five bucks here right now, right? Yeah, we're going, to, so it's 520 a BTU, right? This morning in Texas, it was 20 cents. And what it is, is that all the pipelines are full coming out of Texas with natural gas, and they can't get rid of it. Now, and that is not an anomaly, just so you can understand that. You, what you can do is you can, if you, you can pull, pull, pull natural gas and put Bloomberg on it. They've done a, a nice job, and I don't think that's behind the gate either. I think the, that you can get this article. And what it is, is that when they are pumping huge amounts of oil, which they are right now in Texas, the amount of gas, they go negative sometimes three to six times a year, a year. That's how much natural gas, they can't get it out of there. So, yeah, over in Europe, they're, trying to, they're paying 28 bucks. We're paying five. And guess what? If you can figure a way out of, to get it over in uh, Europe, uh, you just get it out of there. I mean, I'm sure people rack their brains like, okay, how do we get this done when they will give it to you all day long? Because the, the bottom line, it, if they can't let it back up, they're going to flare it out. And... It's dangerous. That's the bottom line. But, you know. Market wise out here, let's take a look. You get the uh, Dow up uh, 492, Nasdaq's up uh, 109, S&Ps are up 54. Um, silver, silver, silver. And hey, we, we, we did get, folks, on Friday, you did get the streamers starting to move inside the gold market. So if you're in that gold market, we did get Royal Gold. We did get Franco Nevada to get some juice on the upside. That was the first in a real long period of time. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up next.